Hi guys, today I wanted to do um, the first um, bookshelf tour. Uh, there's going to be many more to follow, but for today I am doing some of the classics. The first book is Pride and Prejudice Jane Austen. Now this is just a really cheap kind of edition that I wasn't too worried about that if I got it kind of smushed up in my bag or lost it or whatever. Um, so yeah, it's handy to have. The next is actually another Pride and Prejudice that I got um, a few weeks ago. Um, I think it was 25 cent. So it's perfect, again, for throwing in my bag. Um, the Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. Um, I, I really enjoyed this book. Uh, it's a really good story um, and it is really creepy. But another good one. Next is The Diamond as Big as the Ritz and other stories by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Um, it's part of the Wordsworth Classics editions. You might see a few of them um, on the shores of my bookshelves. The next book is Agnes Grey by Anne Bronte. Um, I can't remember if I've read this. I'm assuming I haven't. Because um, I do love all the Bronte sisters' books. Um, but yeah, I'll have to just check if I've already read this. Next book is Orlando by Virginia Woolf. Uh, plain cover. Um, I think I have read this, but it's been years since I've read this. So it probably needs to go in the pile to get read again. The next book is... Oops, sorry. Ethan Frome by Edith Wharton. So I have read this before, but as I said, I need to read it again. As I can't remember much of what happened in the story. Sorry if I sound a little hoarse. I, um, I have sinusitis at the moment. Uh, the Collected Works of Nathaniel West. I like this cover. Very kind of flapper-esque. <laughs> the next book is... 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne. I do like this story. I especially like the library under the water. The next book is Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen, which of course I have read. I do like this cover actually. The next is The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by Anne Bronte. Again, I really like these covers. These are cheap editions. Um, but pretty good. I do like it. The next book is Shirley by Charlotte Bronte. And you can see that it's a kind of a dark story just by the cover alone. Um, this is one that I did mean to read again. Um, but it's been so long. I really need to get around to that. I think I might put it in my pile for my autumn reading because it seems like that would be a really good time of year to read this book. And the next book, oh, sorry, I'm going to try not cause an avalanche, is Villette by Charlotte Bronte. So that's pretty much a lot of the Brontes there. Um, here we have Villette. These are the these lovely covers um, by Penguin. They really know how to how to do a really striking cover. And then we have Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. It's the, if I can just zoom in, the Penguin English Library. Yeah. So next is Northanger Abbey by Penguin English Library. The next book is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. Then we have Sense and Sensibility by Vintage Austen. Pride and Prejudice, the Penguin English, English Library again, sorry. Then we have Shirley by Charlotte Bronte. Oh, that's a brick of a book. Here's another big one. The Portrait of a Lady by Henry James. I do quite like this cover. And they all have this really kind of smooth um, texture. It's not a gloss, but it's, I don't know, it's very soft and velvety. 
Then we have A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, which I read every year and I really love this book. It's one of my favourite Christmas books and it's the first one I would think of if somebody asked me to recommend one. Then we have this lovely edition of Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This is probably one of my favourite editions of that book. And then if you turn it around, you get this little girl. And I like that she's writing and there's her little ink pot. And then we have my favourite, well, one of my favourite editions of Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Um, it's one of my treasured books. It's real comfort read. And as you know, I, sorry, if I can just, oh, when you open it inside, it looks like embroidery and the detail is just unique to these books in this series and there isn't that many books in the series but they are just incredible so beautiful and it says I am not afraid of storms for I am learning to sail my ship I'm like this is this is beautiful and it is there's some texture there Oh, stunning the little cup here so the next book is again another one in the series it's the secret garden by Francis Hodgson Burnett and again inside you have the embroidery and then on the back cover again where you tend a rose a thistle cannot grow and again inside the back cover these are gorgeous books then the next book is The Hound of the Baskervilles by Arthur Conan Doyle. Um, if you know me for any length of time, you'll know I love a mystery. So this series and Sherlock Holmes, I really, really enjoy. Then we have Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. And then A Christmas Carol and Other Christmas Writings by Charles Dickens. I love this edition with all the snowflakes. <clears throat> then we have Cranford by Elizabeth Gaskell. We have Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. My friend Ivan got me this for my birthday, um, I believe it's maybe two years ago now. Um, little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Oh, and all these little scissors. It's a beautiful edition. And as I said, it's, it's my top favourite classic. Then we have Dracula by Bram Stoker, which was the first horror book I was ever really that interested in. Um, I had a really old kind of battered edition that I found when I was a teenager and I loved the story so much so I decided to get <laughs> an edition that wasn't falling to bits when I got a little older and then um, my mum replaced my edition with this Dracula book um, a few Christmases ago and I adore it and then another edition of Sense and Sensibility Again, these are all Penguin editions. These are the cloth bound ones um, by Jane Austen. Then we have The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I love this story. Um, Oscar Wilde, he was really, really good at writing. Then we have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. And I love these leaves. It's another perfect um, autumn read. Especially the first line. <laughs> Anybody who knows the book will know what I mean. Then here we have 30 Recipes from Mastering the Art of French Cooking by Julia Child, Louise Bertol and Simone Beck. Then we have Mitz, The Marmoset of Bloomsbury, a novel by Sigrid Nunes. Then we have David Niven, The Moon's a Balloon. The End of the Affair by Graham Greene. Madame Verona Comes Down the Hill by Dimitri Verhulust. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Monica, oh sorry, Mariana by Monica Dickens. <coughs> Excuse me.
excuse me. The Mayor of Castor Bridge by Thomas Hardy. Uh, the Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. Uh, the Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. Virginia Woolf, Mrs. Dalloway. The Uncommon Reader by Alan Bennett. <coughs> Excuse me. 1984 by George Orwell. The Waves by Virginia Woolf, a Penguin Modern Classic. The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. And last on this shelf, A Room with a View by E.M. Forrester. So that is all I'm showing you on this front part of the shelf for today. Um, check back um, in a day or so for the second part of this shelf tour, which was the back of the shelf. Have a great day, guys. Bye.